Good morning. Good morning indeed. I have a request and that is I need you to hold me accountable today. I need some accountability. <clears throat> um, where do I start? <laughs> where do I start? I need I need to get this engagement report done. Uh, it's been I thought I was I I implemented the analytics for this blogger like I don't even know two weeks ago and I thought I was gonna do initial report after two days and then like main report after a week and like my phone died and then all this visa stuff. So it's just been too long and I need to get it done today. And I will get it done today. I will, I will get it done today. Um, anyway, yesterday was better, 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 better. It went similarly, unfortunately, in the sense that I, most of the day was spent waiting for immigration to pick up my live chat, live chat session and respond, respond to me. And again, they never did. <laughs> so that sucks. Although I, I WhatsApped the Denpasar immigration. They got back to me actually fairly quickly. So, I don't know what's going on, but how can I summarize this? I thought I had a an electronic visa on arrival. It turns out I don't have that. And I have like a regular tourism visa. I have a B211A tourism visa. It's for 60 days and you, you theoretically can extend it. And the price, the official price to extend it is 500,000 uh, rupiah, which is like $33 um, or 30, 30 bucks, which I'm fine with if I had a button to extend online, but I don't have the button to extend online. So, my options basically are fix the online issue, which I think is an issue. Um, it's possible it's not an issue at all. And then, you know, one minute later, I can extend it for 30 days. Or I could go to immigration in person, but it just sounds like a pain in the butt because it's like you have to go. You have to go, you have to fill out the forms, wait for like three hours or whatever, fill out the forms, and then you have to uh, come back another day to do biometrics, and then you have to come back the third day to like get your passport, and it's all like the days are all scattered, and, and it's like probably an hour drive from where I am now. It's just like, oh, I'd rather not do that. That sounds awful. <laughs> and so, or I could pay for a visa agency to do all of this for me. But the price for a visa agency for my type of visa is like 2.6, 2.8 million rupiah, which is like $175. And I'm like, man, for an extra 30 days, like that just does not seem worth it. So uh, basically, long story short, I started planning yesterday for my options. I think I, I think I'll keep the live session live chat open today. Um, and and if they respond today, then I'll extend for thirty days. If they don't respond today, it's going to be the weekend and the holidays. I say, I'm just going to say screw it and 
I here's my here's my travel plan idea for what's next. I will still probably extend my visa here if I get the option for the online. But if I don't, my theory was, okay, I've been here two months. It's been very like focused grind kind of uh, life. And so I could use like a little bit of a spice, a little bit of a mix up, a little bit of a, a break. And what I'm really interested in seeing is Kuala, Kuala Lumpur as another city to like for co-working kind of thing. Um, and what happens to be on the way is Singapore. Singapore is very expensive though. And so I probably wouldn't live there and like work there. And so my theory is, what if we took a flight to Singapore and spent like four or five, six days a week as a like vacation, more focused on exploring and not working and not, you know, focused laptop time and had that as a, a recharge, recharge the batteries and then flew flew to Kuala Lumpur and that's where we like got back on the on the horse got back on the grind kind of thing um, in both countries you can stay for at least from my understanding do your own research but or I still have to also do my own research but it looks like you can stay for 90 days without a visa or, or a visa on arrival, like super easy to do it at the airport, which is insane. That's crazy. Three months. Just in that. So, anyway, I'm kind of excited. But anyway, that's where I'm at. That's where my head's at, which is not work, <laughs> which is what makes it so difficult. Because I'm like, ugh. Uh, I did work out yesterday though, so that's good. 4 p.m. Close the laptop. Uh, uh, did a push workout and then came back and saw the the, the staff waiter guy from la uh, the previous night, and I was like, I got my workout in, and. Yes, we'll call it there. So anyway, I'm a little disappointed uh, if I don't get to explore more of Bali, but I will definitely be back here. It's, it's inevitable. There's so much, so much to do, so much to see. Love the lifestyle out here. I mean, just look at this. So, I'll be back. I'm not I'm not worried. But, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta play the rules of the immigration system. You know? So, see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. And tomorrow, I will talk about how I have sent my engagement report. I better. See ya.